Here I have a molecule of methylpropane, and in this tutorial I'm going to be taking you through three features of what I would predict about the hydrogen NMR spectrum of this molecule. We're going to be looking at the number of peaks I expect to see, we're going to be looking at what the ratio of those peaks would be to each other, and then finally we're going to be looking at that all-important splitting pattern. So here I've got the methylpropane. And what I need to decide first is how many different hydrogen environments do I have? Because that's going to be how many peaks I get on the hydrogen NMR spectrum. So I'm definitely going to get one peak for this just here. That is a completely separate hydrogen environment from anything else on the molecule. Then I'm only going to get one other peak. It's going to be for the CH3. Now all of these CH3s are equivalent to each other. They are all in exactly the same hydrogen environment we can say. We can see here that they are a CH3 bonded to a CH every single time here. And it's exactly the same CH. And so these are all equivalent to each other. And I'm going to label up the two peaks that I've now identified as peak A. And then this blue one here is going to be peak B. Now my two peaks, peak A and peak B, now need to be presented as being in a ratio to each other. So we would expect to see this on an A-level exam paper with the numbers next to the peaks. That tells you what the ratio is. And loosely, it's the number of hydrogens within the environment. And so the ratio here between these two peaks is going to be 1 for A, because there's 1 H within that environment. And then for peak B, it's going to be all of them through here. So it's actually going to be a 1 to 9 ratio. That's massive. And whenever you see a 9 in an A-level exam on the hydrogen NMR, the chance is that it is actually going to be three CH3s. And that comes with exam experience, and it's something you should certainly be looking out for. So what else can we say? Now we've got the number of peaks I expect, and now I know their ratio. Let's talk about their splitting pattern. So for this A peak just here, what we're going to do to decide its splitting pattern we're going to count the number of neighbouring hydrogens on the next carbons up. And we need to go in as many directions as we can from this carbon just here, but we only go one carbon up in the line. We don't go any further than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of this environment just here to each of these next carbons up. And I've got one, two, three just there. And then go to this one. And so I've got four, five and six just here. And then I go out to this one here, and I've got seven, eight, and nine. That is nine neighbouring hydrogens on the next carbons up for this particular environment. That's a lot. So what do I do with this information? Well, now what I'm going to use is something called the N plus 1 rule. And the N plus 1 rule is going to tell me what my splitting pattern looks like, how many sub-peaks I expect to see, for this particular peak that we've already identified is going to be present on the hydrogen NMR spectrum. So N plus 1, which is going to be 9 plus 1, is going to be 10. And that can be described as a multiplet of 10 sub-peaks, or we can describe it more formally as a dectet. But a multiplet would be okay as long as you are able to then say how many sub-peaks it's made up of. For example, here, as I've already described, it would be 10. So what about the other environment just here? Well, I go from one of these equivalent CH3s. I don't need to go to each one of them, uh, one at a time. I just go from one of them and I go to the next carbon up. And there is only just this one carbon, isn't there? I don't go further through that because I only go to the next one up. And besides, these are the same environment to begin with. So I go up to that next carbon and I see how many hydrogens are there. And I've just got the one this time. But we don't need to worry, that still means something to us. I mean, nothing would still mean something in terms of a splitting pattern. And here I do n plus 1, and that's going to give me 2. And so what I'm creating here for this environment is going to be a doublet. So I would expect the hydrogen NMR spectrum for this molecule to contain two peaks. They would be in a 1 to 9 ratio, and they would be a dectet and a doublet in terms of their splitting patterns. Hopefully that clears up some proton or hydrogen NMR spectroscopy skills for you. There's lots of walkthroughs on my channel for those full exam questions if you want to mix up your different types of spectroscopy. And until next time, happy revising.